have here is a Windows Phone 8 device that's running um, obviously the new home screen and new start screen experience. The first thing you'll notice right away is that we have a Skype live tile here. And this is actually a tile that we now have available in three different sizes. So small, medium, and large. And it actually updates when it's in its large state with like the late message that's actually come through. And we'll always have an unread message count as well. Now one of the things we wanted to do is make sure that Skype calls could come in in a similar fashion as other calls. So when I go ahead and call myself on this device, for instance, even without the app being run yet, like I literally have just restarted the device, the app hasn't been running, um, it actually will wake up and deliver that call. And it comes in just like, again, you would expect a normal call with the familiar Skype Sonics. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore that just for now. What you'll also notice is that we have the ability for this to really be built around your people. So when I go ahead and open up this contact information here, Tony Bates in this case, you'll notice that it's actually linked across Outlook, Microsoft, Facebook, Skype, and Twitter. So we're now syncing Skype contacts directly to the phone. And so when I tap Skype, which is now one of the actions inside of the contact card, it takes me straight into the Skype app, directly into a chat, and so I can now go ahead and start chatting with Tony, just like that send that message. You see we have a full array of emoticons just like you'd expect from Skype so I can go ahead and send him <laughs> this one for instance which is a too much information, personal favorite of mine. Um, so I can go ahead and send that off and it's really easy for me also to um, as I'm having this conversation add other people to the conversation. I can make it a group chat. I can actually set a topic for the group chat so maybe this is a project we're working on or something like that. It's easy for me to name. So making group conversations really easily um, and then also the, again the ability to leave the app and all the while have it still always on and available without draining your battery life keeping you updated on messages and notifications as they come through. The app in general when you kind of first launch into it using you know the tile on the start screen you'll notice has a completely new design. So we've built it from the ground up for Windows Phone 8. It's written in native code which means that it just the performance just screams. So it's really fast, really easy to, to navigate around. We also have a favorite screen so it's really easy for me to add people that again I want to stay in touch with more frequently. Um, so I can maybe add Queen Elizabeth to my favorite screen just like that. Um, it also then pulls together all of my phone numbers and contacts from my address book. So if I've got contacts that synced from Gmail or Outlook or Outlook.com or something like that, all of those are available here and it's easy for me to actually start a call to them if I have some Skype credit loaded up. This is my recent screen, so even when I'm in a chat conversation or something like that, it's always easy for me to actually pivot out and see what else is going on in, in all the other chats that are going on. So in this case, I can see what's happening with Lisa everything defaults to the chat so it's easy for me to start send off a message and then if I want to I can start a video call, a voice call or whatever else and it uses the very familiar Skype UI and you can see here with the HTC we have a wide angle front facing camera so it's easy to get everybody in the shot so that's a quick look at what's going on with Skype for Windows Phone 8